Hey guys, this is Tyler Britt, your Instructional Technology Coordinator, with another edition of Snack Pack, Rapid Fire PD. Well, today I'm going to show you a new tool uh, called Go Soapbox. Go Soapbox is another one of those interactive clicker uh, type of websites that allows you to push some content to kids. They can connect with whatever device they have. If you're using BYOD, it works great on mobile phones. It will work on tablets. It also works just on laptops or Chromebooks. Um, this is a way for kids to connect to a really quick session. Maybe it's something that you just want to ask a few questions, maybe pose a, a poll, maybe even do a one or two question quiz, but it's more of a one-off instance. It's not something you're going to do in Google Classroom or Moodle. Um, also something that could be valuable if you're doing something with uh, parents or other adults, maybe presenting PD in your building. So I have two identical uh, browsers up. I'm going to show you on the left side the teacher perspective. And then over on the right side, I'm going to actually log in as a student. So first, over on the left, I'm going to be the teacher. Now, I've already created an account. Uh, you do not need to create an account for students. Students don't create an account. They will get an access pin. The big thing for students is to make sure that they don't put first and last names because they may be answering some questions like a quiz or a poll that could be considered an educational record. So we won't have them put in their first and last name. But I'll get to that in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and hit sign in. Um, as a teacher, I've already created my account. So you see I've signed up with my Raytown Schools account, and I've got my name there. It's all good. Now, Go Soapbox uh, describes their different classes as events. So I'm going to make a new event just for an example here. So I'll hit Create, and I'm going to give it a custom name. I'll use today's date. I like to organize things that way. And let's just say that I'm making this uh, Soapbox event for my seventh hour class. So I'm just going to hit Create. You'll notice that once I hit create, I go ahead and get the access code. I'm going to log in over here on the student side for you, even though I don't have, I haven't created any custom content yet. But there's one feature that you get as soon as a student joins an event, which I really like. Um, they have to set their name. I'm just going to put my first name and maybe my class number. Um, so I'm not putting my first and last name. You get this thing they call a confusion barometer. So as soon as your kids join the event, even if all you do is uh, use it for, I'm kidding it, I'm confused, this is a great little tool for you as a teacher. I'm going to go ahead and hit proceed to my event. And you'll see that I have one student that's online. Of course, if I had 10 students, it would say 10. If I had 30, it would say 30. The free version is the small class version. That will accommodate up to 30 students. So if you have 30 or fewer on your roster, you're good to go. So I've got one student online. Let me just show you. If I hit I'm confused, um, it's going to alert me as a teacher. I've got one kid confused. So this might be something where maybe you have kids log in and they only use the confusion barometer um, during their work time or maybe during a lecture. That might help you um, with students that are maybe not comfortable telling you if they're confused. I'm going to say I'm getting it. Now I have three options here to quickly create something. I can make a quiz, I can make a poll, or I can have a discussion. I'm just going to click create a poll really quickly, and it's pretty uh, straightforward. The question or the title of my poll is, I'm going to do, what is your favorite season? Um, I'm just going to jump down here to choices. I'll we'll say fall, winter, spring, summer. Um, oh, let's see, I want those results displayed as a pie chart. And yeah, this is just a poll, it's just opinion. So let's go ahead and do results are visible to students. I'm going to hit create poll. Now you're going to notice that when I hit create poll, nothing happened over here on the student side yet. A really nice feature is that when I create something, it doesn't automatically become available to students. I click this little padlock, you see it says lock. I click this little padlock and unlock it. The instant I did that, it pops up on the student screen. So what is your favorite season? Now as the kid, I can click. I can say, oh, my favorite season is fall. I'm going to submit my vote. Um, and it says this can only be seen by moderators. I'm going to click on the poll over here as the teacher again, though, because I thought I had that set. Oh, results are visible to students. Save. And I'll go back here. I must not have hit something. There you go. Now we can see it's that pie chart. Of course, only one kid, so it's kind of a funny pie chart. And I can go back to the event. Now let's say I want to create a quiz really quick, maybe an, an entrance ticket or an exit ticket or something like that. Uh, we'll call this World Series Quiz. 
So what I can do here is add a question. Who will win the World Series? Uh, I'm going to make that multiple choice. We'll say Royals. We'll say Mets. Down here I get to select the correct answer. Obviously that's Royals. Um, I can put a little post-quiz description if I want. So uh, you can give them some more information on uh, why the answer is what it is if you want. I'm just going to hit Create. Um, and then let's add one more question to this quiz. Who will not win the World Series? Multiple choice. Mets. Royals. The Mets will not win. Create. And then once I've got that uh, done, I can go back to my event. And now I can, uh, again, that quiz is locked. I can unlock that quiz, and then boom, there it is. So this allows for really timely release of information. On the kid side, start this quiz. It's got two questions. Submit. Submit. Um, I can review if I want, and then I say I'm done. Submit my answers. I get some feedback right away. Then I can go back. Um, so anyway, Go Soapbox. Um, it's app.gosoapbox.com for your students to log in. Free for you to join, up to 30 kids. Really nice way to just do something quick, especially if you're just going to do a one-off or if you're looking for just a different tool to show your kids to maybe get some interest, it's really nice for them to follow along. I love the confusion barometer. Remember, kids don't have to make an account, which is great. They're going to sign in using that unique numeric pin. Make sure kids are not putting first and last names. A great thing. Um, so, yeah, I hope this uh, little Go Soapbox app is helpful to you. And until next time, onward we go.